Sentence types, alashma. It would be pretty boring if sentences only came in a single flavor. Aw, man. Vanilla's fine, but who wants a world without chocolate? Or even green tea ice cream? Yuck. Hey, some people like it. Mm -mm. There are three basic types of sentences. First, the simple sentence, AKA the independent clause. You can also think of it as a complete thought. So long as it's got a subject and a verb, you're all set. The other two types use different helper words to connect clauses. Did somebody say clause? Compound sentences have two independent clauses connected with a helper word, such as and, nor, or so. And finally, complex sentences really live up to their name. They have an independent clause, plus one or more dependent clauses, which can't stand alone as complete thoughts. So they're connected via a helper word, such as although, when, or which. Now let's translate all this into English. Here's the simplest of simple sentences. A simple sentence is solid. It stands on its own. Oh, this? Ow! Don't even need it. That's why it's also known as an independent clause. Like our friend over here, it stands on two legs, a subject, and a verb. Got that? But a simple sentence doesn't have to be quite so simple. Hey you, get back here! It can have a compound subject, that is, multiple subjects, like Mike and Bobby are caught by the police. Or a compound verb. Mike goes home and loses his art supplies. In a compound sentence, you've got one sentence but two independent clauses joined by a fanboy's coordinator. All right, let him in. And by fanboys, we mean for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. Oh, yeah. These fanboys are just dying to get between two independent clauses. Back it up. Usually preceded by a comma. For example, Bobby failed miserably to impress Lisa Yet, he kept trying to impress Megan, too. Aw, heck no! And then there's the complex sentences. That is, an independent clause joined to one or more dependent clauses. All right, that's it! Handcuffs? Seriously? They're joined by either a subordinator, such as because, after, although, or when, or a relative pronoun, like that, who, or which. For example, Mike took down his shrine to Susie, which took over a month to make. And one with two dependent clauses. Here we go. Although Susie thought Mike was sort of cute, she preferred someone who didn't literally worship her. Well, hello there. So there are three sentence types, simple, compound, and complex. A simple sentence is an independent clause with at least one subject and verb. A compound sentence is two independent clauses joined together by fanboys. And a complex sentence is one independent clause plus one or more dependent clauses joined by a subordinator or relative pronoun. Again? Really? Just remember that there's always got to be at least one independent clause in each sentence because somebody's got to stay independent here. Oh, you can't be serious. Subscribe to check out more equally fantabulous videos. You should see the subscribe button just below this one. If you're having trouble locating it, we recommend you watch our video, How to Find the Subscribe Button.